loaded fast. Like uh, 15 minutes, we're out the gate. So, I think we got, uh, it's like 42 and change. It says 18 pallets. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, no big deal. our seal. Mechanic action here. time I had Roy Rogers, upstate New York, doing an Amazon run. It was foggy out. I'm right, gonna give him another chance. Actually been eating healthy all week long. <laughs> had a muscle milk for breakfast this morning. Uh, yeah, healthy snacks, but now I'm gonna go throw it away on a cheeseburger. here from Chuckle Wild TV. It has been a minute. It has been quite, quite the past uh, week or so. Yeah. Um, uh, as you guys know, I haven't been home in, uh, it's been a while. It's been it's been a minute before I've been home, but I uh, uh, took some home time and I've been home since uh, last Monday. Not this Monday, just passed the Monday before, so it's like 10 or 11 days. And uh, it's been awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, spent the holiday with the family, uh, a lot of time uh, with Carmelo and Madison, and just uh, all good stuff, you know, and it's uh, it's a good feeling to know that you can make changes in your life and stay on that grind, man, and stick to the script, and you know what, um, good things will happen. The more good that you do, bad things are still going to pop up, but good things will happen. Um, just everything I've been through in the past, you know, five or six months, um, to see how I turned the corner and, uh, taking in good things, taking an accurate knowledge of, uh, our grand creator and, uh, working on myself. Um, just a lot of awesome things are happening and I'm very much at peace and happy. Um, you know, I'm a company driver again. <laughs> You know, or a contract or whatever you want to call it, but it doesn't make a difference. Uh, it's what I chose to do for right now, and the company I'm with is absolutely awesome. And uh, people I work with are great. The equipment's top notch, um, and good money. So at the end of the day, it's winning. Um, I'm happy to be back out. You know, I just did a load today from Levittown, Pennsylvania, uh, out to Akron, Ohio. I'm here at the facility now. Uh, clips you're seeing is just the uh, past couple days, you know, uh, a lot of awesome things going on and uh, very, very happy, very happy, very humble. 
And I'm here to tell you, you don't ever have to take the bait. If something does not affect your life, who cares? Talk is cheap. Everyone's going to try and knock you down. Some people are for the ride. Some people are for the journey. Some people want to see you crash and burn. Anyone that could hate on another person or do something like that, that's a bully in my book. So, yeah, I don't want to be like that. That's not the person I am. That's not who I aspire to be. And anyone could change. You know, all it is is just taking constant vigilance and worrying about doing the next right thing. And sometimes doing the next right thing is not so, not so easy. It's not so easy. So, yeah, I'm still work in progress. And uh, just everything that I have in my life right now, I'm so happy, thankful. Uh, everything's good. So, yeah, this is the plan. So now that things are working out, uh, I was out here for a minute, you know, and it was good that I was here because it started me on my journey of where I needed to be, at least to give me an idea, let things cool down a little bit. And uh, yeah, it makes sense. Everything's good. So I couldn't be happier that things are coming around the way they are. And uh, I guess I'm where I'm supposed to be. You know, I'm not I'm not questioning. It was a little hard to leave. Let me tell you, it was hard saying goodbye. You know, uh, and just a little while ago, Pony called me and uh, my little buddy's missing me. You know, um, he didn't want to go to sleep. and He's got a little bit of a cough going on. It's, it sounds like a barking cougar. Um, but he was giving her a hard time because I guess, you know, he got used to me being there. So that's the hard part is the separation with the road. But the truth is. The road is, like I've said before, it is a lifestyle. And um, sometimes you question, you question, you know, what you, what your priorities are and things change and stuff like that. So, but for the most part, um, I'm happy where I'm at and um, I'm at peace and everything is good. And uh, I just wanna let you know, you know, we see, we see a good friend of ours struggling, going through probably the battle of his life. And if you see the strength and the endurance that this man shows, if anyone could ever beat this thing, it's going to be him. And, uh, yeah, his mom sent out some, uh, some stuff for me and, uh, so appreciative. His mom is awesome. What an awesome lady. Um, you can help uh, Country Time hit him up monetarily. Cash App Country Time 1977. Throw a prayer in there. Say, hey, brother, we're praying for you. Uh, those things are motivation, man. If you, uh, even if you can't help him monetarily, sending him a prayer is huge, and he appreciates all. So, you know, we're all on this journey, but I can tell you, I'm going to be 45 this year. And I can tell you, uh, looking at history and looking at how things go, the more you try to do good and you uh, you practice, it gets better and better and better. You know, if if you're out there worried about what this one's saying, or that one's saying, getting all up in the drama and all that crazy stuff, um, you really got to probably uh, probably got to take a good look in the mirror, take a look at take a look at what you got going on inside. Because if you're hating on someone or trying to hurt someone that's trying to uh, better themselves or to make a change that's positive, that's going to be good for them or for their family. You got to question your motives, but um, I guess this is part of the journey where I always tell you guys, don't take the bait. See what happens when I take the bait. Get dragged in the mud, end up in handcuffs, all that good stuff. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Just do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Work on it. Pray on it. And uh, taking accurate knowledge, you know, uh, I got my new book of Enoch. Enoch was a book that was removed from the Bible. Uh, it's a whole story. There's a conspiracy that goes with it, but it's a very powerful book. I actually gave a copy of that to Country Time. Um, it's very uh, faith strengthening because it's basically Satan and the, the fallen angels going to Enoch. Enoch was like this holy dude that walked with the father. And they said, Enoch, you got to talk to the father for us. You got to, we don't want to be here anymore. We want to go back up to heaven. We don't. We're sorry. Tell him we're sorry. We don't want to be here. And Enoch, he's like, all right, I'll, I'll give it a gamble. And the book tells the story of what happened. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's Bible prophecy being fulfilled. So the Bible is a very powerful book because it's a book that was written almost 7,000 years ago, right? And it's still a book of action. It tells you where you are, where we are, you know, where we were, where we started, where we're going to end up. 
it's like an owner's manual for, for human beings. So as I take the time to uh, take in this accurate knowledge, it, what I learn, I try to put it into my daily life. And, you know, I'm far from perfect. You know, I still still got a potty mouth, you know, but I've cleaned up my intents a lot. Um, on the downtime, I'm not worried about uh, going out with the guys or having a drink or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, my time is valuable and uh, I value my wife and kids and my family, you know? So you, as you get older, you get, you draw these lines in the sand and I couldn't be happier for the way things have fallen into place. And I never thought that things would have worked this well. And I know it's the power of God, straight up, straight up. If I was still doing uh, F boy stuff and getting involved with drama and all that crazy stuff and getting out there, you know, fighting, throwing, you know, just stupid things, stupid things would happen. But the, the truth is, um, keep to yourself. You know, if you can help, you can help anybody. You help them. You know, you don't question it. Just you help, you know. And uh, I kind of feel, I was talking to a buddy of mine today. I kind of feel a little, a little crazy. I, I, I popped into a live the day before last and it's about two dudes that I like. I like both these guys, but they have a problem going on right now. And, uh, you know, just because the one doesn't like the other doesn't mean that I have to dislike anyone in the situation. But instead of me trying to put it to sleep, I thought, yeah, let these guys fight it out. Yeah, let them go into a boxing ring. Let them do all that stuff. Not thinking that, man, something terrible could happen. Maybe someone could have a heart attack. Maybe someone could really get hurt. You know, but they wanted to make like a box, like a, an official referee, like a card with like prizes and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't be trying to promote that. I should be trying to promote something different to try to put it to bed. But I don't know. I'm only human, man. I can't make people do anything, but I shouldn't have put in my two cents to say, hey, yeah, you should do it or blah, blah, blah. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. And uh, I, I guess I feel a little guilt for doing that. So, yeah, yeah, I got a still work in progress, if you know what I'm saying, still work in progress. So we are here at our facility in Ohio. We're mad early. We don't kick this off until like um, 0900 tomorrow, but the guy said he'll let me in early. So we're here on the property. We're going to take our break, set some uh, cup of soup. Um, it was a good day. So we're back to the grind. We're back to the land of Oz. It's uh, me and Trigger. And we're uh, going to take you over, all, of, all aboard for the journey. So that is my whole story for today. Remember, always, always keep God first. Love your wife like it was her first and last date. Even when you made a mess of things. Everything else come into play. Truck Wild reporting from Akron, Ohio saying, I love you all. Stay up, stay blessed. Talk to you tomorrow.